No other time in history was like, let's get the two richest men on the planet and have them fight each other. What about, <laughs> just envision nah. the activities Mike's doing and what the watch yeah, like, thinks he's yeah. doing. Oh, wow. 35 minutes on the shake weight today. <laughs> <laughs> Mike got beat up first period, but second period, he wouldn't kick someone else. <laughs> ben, you've been dressing nicer lately. Ryan, <laughs> you have seen me wear... One thing for the last seven years, and that's just a Sea Boys T-shirt. And I put, I literally have worn not a Sea Boys T-shirt, just like a like a blank shirt or or a blank long sleeve, like three times around Ryan. He goes, getting fancy, huh? I think a Sea Boys shirt is even nicer. Nicer, right? Yeah. So that's where I was course. confused because I was like, I, I I thought I was dressing down. I mean, yeah, true, but it's just like I've never seen this out of you. New me? Well, I just figured you dug all that shit up when you moved. And you were like, oh, I own this. The only thing I dug up when I moved was fucking poison ivy. Yeah, what's the deal all with All over that? my hands, bro, all over my ankles, everywhere. I could be downwind from poison ivy and I would yeah, get it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm really nervous, like, being around you. It's like, not touching contagious. The same it's not way. contagious. Really? I thought the oils were contagious. Like, contagious. You know, I don't know. It's I don't know. There's, there's so it's many myths. I don't know. I don't, right. I don't like, know. Every time I get poison ivy, I'm always, like, looking up, like, home remedies for poison ivy. And I've got, like, everything under the sun at this point to put on it. And like nothing works besides for just like letting it be for two weeks. But um, yeah, bro, I swear I could literally be downwind from poison ivy and I would get it. You're right. contagious to yourself. Yeah, like literally. No one else can oh, yeah, get it from you. Spread but it you around. like, it's on your hand and you like touch your arm and then it's on your arm the next day. Maybe even the same day. Yeah, one time I got poison ivy when I was, I was uh, doing landscaping for Dave. And I must have weed whacked it or something and it got on my legs. And then I must have not washed it off in time. My legs were together so that it, I got on both legs. Ooh. And then I got it on my arms. Mm-hmm. And then I was in Canada on a remote island when I when it finally started to break out. So mm-hmm. I was I was on this island for three days without like a single thing to treat it with. And it spread over my entire body. And it was probably it was it was one of the worst weeks, like the following week of my life. Like I couldn't move. I, I was laid up in bed for a week straight. Didn't you get it on your nuts? Oh, bro, I got it everywhere. Everywhere. Well, Ooh. so here's here's the worst poison ivy story I've ever heard, though. <laughs> uh, this had to have been like 10 years ago. Yeah, we were kids. Oh, my God. So me and CJ are out on um, our friend's boat and our friend, my, my brother's friends, I should say. And they're older they were, than us. Uh, they're maybe five, 10 years older. And um, anyway, we're like hanging out. We're pretty much just kids at this point. And uh, next thing we know two couple like a guy and a girl i don't think they were a couple that started like making out in the front of a boat next to us right and you know just being like a little kid you're just like wondering what's going on well next thing you know they swim to shore and they sneak up into like the beach like kind of like a secluded beach woods yeah and they're gone for about five ten minutes maybe being generous (laughs) (laughs) and they come back and i didn't really think much of it apparently they went up into the into the woods and and did the dirty and they were literally smashing on poison ivy. He was laying in poison laying ivy. Laying in poison ivy. And uh, I can't believe they laid down. Yeah, I, that's pretty savage. It must have been getting I mean, after it. So, you so, sure they uh, laid down? So my, my brother's friend uh, basically in the following days wakes up, poison ivy, head to toe, everywhere except for his dick. Except? Except. He was, he he was the only crabs. thing that was covered. Yeah. But oh like head to toe, and that's how he got it. A uh, little geography lesson. So the the beach that everybody parks at is actually on the road out to my dad's place. So I drive by that spot. I don't know the exact spot, but I drive by that every day. Yeah, it's and kind I of always, a legendary spot now. Yeah, I kind of look at it and I go, yeah, I don't think I'd smash there. <laughs> like, I just, it just doesn't seem right. Just weeds and like. Man, you got to be real horny like, to, I mean, to do that. <laughs> got to take advantage when you got the opportunity. Yeah, not everybody's. So blessed to have such a good hand like you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of the, the, the good, speaking of the good hand, though, yeah, no, definitely no, hold no, off. No, on no, that. No. Sorry. Yeah, definitely hold off on the good good hand, or probably both hands. Yeah, Ben. If you jerked off, would you get it on your dick? Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's one of those <laughs> things you want to find out. No. Right out the gate, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'd imagine. I mean, what would be stopping it? It's not like your dick has some, like, special superpower. Well, some do. (laughs) 
I thankfully don't. I've gotten poison ivy really bad, and I think I got it so bad that I just like now I'm immune to it. Is it like chicken pox? Like you get it really bad, but I guess you get it again. Yeah, I don't know. They say that like once you have it once really bad, then you'll never get it again. I've had it so bad so many times, and I keep getting it. Yeah, when we went reckless golfing, I took a shit, and when I was taking the <laughs> shit, I was in poison ivy. Really? Yeah, I took a shit it, in the woods. Yeah, it like, wasn't I on the video, but I yeah. can't get it either. It's I'm I'm pretty sure my ass touched a poison <gasps> ivy leaf. Oh wow, you were hanging low. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh fuck. And then I like scurried out and kind of did it right on the side of the car path. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very lucky that I can't get it, and I feel like you have like borderline of disability when you get around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, disability. Fine. I've got a good update from our fellas down in the big city of Minneapolis, and. It's a little Minneapolis collab with the Kia boys. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love those guys. <laughs> like the Kia boys are in Minneapolis mobbing? Yeah. Man, I wish I would have heard. And you you would have been there? Yeah. Pick up a couple Kias, go yeah. join. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I just turn it off a little bit. <laughs> Why the fuck do you start shooting at him? I don't know. Who's shooting? Dude. Uh, the guy on the street, just downtown Minneapolis, Taylor Swiftville. It must be rivals to the Kia boys, the Honda oh, boys. Yeah, the Honda boys. What the fuck? Who just starts shooting at one? Like, that seems kind of random. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. In the open, downtown Minneapolis. Evan! Evan! What's up, buddy? Seen smoke meal. Sitting in for Big Ken. Diesel, diesel. Bit of an exciting change. We've got Evan. Behind the cameras at the desk today. Ken's too busy shipping out merch. Uh, I think he's darn near close. I think he's got everything out from yeah, the last Yeah, they've been drop. cranking it. Him and his team. Yep. His team. He does have a full-blown army back he's there, honestly. He's an army, man. And they respect him. And he is just, I mean, he's really a great leader when I, he's in his merch bay. I saw them uh, doing the Pledge of Allegiance to a picture <laughs> Every of <him>. morning. <laughs> to a picture of him. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I walked back there the other day looking for something. And I was kind of just sneaking in the shadows. They, uh -huh. they didn't know I was there. And I heard a couple daddies, like they were, they were referencing daddy to Ken. I, I legit didn't even understand like a single thing that they were saying. Like they have their own like cryptic language now. <laughs> they do. They have their own jokes, their own like Culture. everything. Everything Ken's is like an inside joke. Like I don't, I'm not sure if they're speaking in Morse code or what, because it's more efficient for Ken because he's too lazy <laughs> to get out a full <laughs> sentence. <laughs> No, I heard they, they definitely do have their own their own little lingo, but I heard they're only allowed to talk to each other. Not they're not allowed to speak. <laughs> to <laughs> they're not allowed to talk to Ken. <laughs> they like can't unless, make eye contact with them. They yeah, have to like, look at the ground when Ken's talking. <laughs> <laughs> only speak when spoken to type of vibes. No, all jokes aside though, every time I do go back there and spend more than like thirty seconds if I'm like looking for something, it's just dead silent. Except for like a little EDM. Yeah, there's a little music on. <laughs> He's got like a little wiggle dick and music going on in the background. And like everyone's kind of just bobbing their head as they're like packaging orders and stuff. And Ken is sitting at his desk. Scrolling Facebook Marketplace and Reddit. And they're all working. Ken's got it figured out, dude. He outsourced his whole job. Yeah, he really did. So now I'm just wondering, what is he doing back there? Smoking vapes. It has been awfully cloudy. People have been complaining about their, I thought their orders like that they're getting. I thought it was in there with the music and then the smoke rolling out. <laughs> every, time, yeah. every day they come to pick up orders when the garage door opens. It's just a smoke cloud rolling out. Uh, Ken's got all of his minions three days vaping in. back there. Uh, I saw a comment on one of the podcasts that said, uh, it's so disrespectful that Ben calls Ken's <laughs> workers minions. I would quit so fast. I was, I was like, I'm not calling a minion. Ken calls them his minions. I'm just, I'm just passing on the message, and, and they refer to themselves as minions. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I actually try not to call them that, but I will back up the minion statement where they are actually my younger brother's friends, and like they've been hanging around. They come and go. Like, like we've known them for a long time. It's not like we just like picked them up off the street. You and put a a, a job. Uh, you know, opportunity in the newspaper and these people are just random. Like, they're, like, kind of friends and, like, they crack jokes with Ken, hence why they call him Daddy and he calls them the Minions, you know? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Would it be crossing the line if we got them all Minion costumes and required oh, them to wear gosh, them? Oh, gosh, that'd be really <laughs> funny. funny. I feel like they would straight up think it was funny. 
But I, I mean, I'm not going to do that. That's Ken's. I mean, it's we Ken's territory. I'm we, not going to step in his territory. <laughs> what like, are the minions' main guy dress like? Gru. Gru. Ken is Gru. Yeah, it's Gru. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. It's so accurate. Okay, wait. I want to see it. Yeah, I went back there. I was showing someone around, and I was like, yep, so this is kind of the operations back here. And Carter goes, operations? You mean sweatshop? <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'm like, Shut your yeah. mouth. I'm like, it's the fucking OSHA operations. guy. Yeah. No lunch for you today. <laughs> Ken walks over and just puts his hand on his mouth and just holds him. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the orders are pretty much out at this point. Hopefully everyone gets their stuff before 4th of July. That was the plan. And uh, thanks for the support. Ken appreciates it. We know that. Yeah, it's actually after the 4th right now. Oh, damn. It's actually the 4th of July when Well, hopefully have your stuff by then now. Wednesday morning is going to be a tough one. Like, what's the? what do you guys think is the worst day to have the 4th of July on? Mm. Tuesday. Tuesday, or bro. Wednesday. This shit <laughs> kind of sucks. I feel like Tuesday or Wednesday. So I the think next Wednesday. two years are yeah. going to be the worst. Because, like, Thursday, I think, is the best. Because you get Thursday off, and you obviously get Friday you off. You go straight up hard then, yeah. right on Thursday, right out the gate. Where we live is kind of like this vacation area. Out of towners are filing in uh, last night, Thursday. Like all the restaurants are packed, the highways all jammed up. There's tons and tons of people because obviously this is like where they want to spend the fourth. So they're going to be out here partying from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday is the fourth now. So now it's like, oh, this is a big day. But it's like, wow, we just freaking went hard for the whole weekend. Because I remember this is how it went last year for me. Because it would have been on a Monday, Monday, wouldn't have. And we had a bunch of people staying over. And it was so fun. It was like, Saturday was great. Sunday was like, okay, this this is really fun. And then by the time the fourth came, you're like, God, I'm like kind of over like sitting around drinking like this. And yeah, I w- kind of want all of you guys to go home. <laughs> hey, you know what, though, CJ? You got to be a patriot. And somebody's exactly. got to do it. No, and I don't get me wrong. I go out there and I crack a beer and I I slam it down and wave a flag because that's the American know, way. That's the American way. But yeah, People no, like, there is now that guy. Now that guy's an alcoholic. Hey, he's a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is unfortunate though that it is a Tuesday, but but first world problems, you know. That really is, yeah, America problems. The nice thing is, like, we'll probably like end up working on Monday a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. we don't have to go. Like, we already live well, here. Well, I'm so I'm like, pretty excited. Uh, I think Monday is going to be a good film day because we, for a few things we have going, we need some good reactions, and there's going to be a lot of people out. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm excited for that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, true. We could almost I, film the jet I, skis I, on Monday. I think either filming the jet skis or the Hummer pontoon on Monday makes the most sense because it's like the lull day. Kind of. I love that statement. Should we film our motorcycle jet skis on Monday, or do you think we should do the Hummer pontoon? <laughs> well, with That's Big so Wrench, funny. the list of like odd contraptions are growing. At this point, the, the jet skis of this video won't be out yet, so we probably can't yeah. spoil too much. But Big Wrench and I went for a cruise on one of his newest contraptions, and he was so proud. He didn't want to go. He's like, have you test driven it yet? And I was like, no, no, I haven't. And he was like, oh, we'll take it for a spin. I was like, well, come with me. We got two yeah. of them. And we went and cruised. He was smiling the whole time. Dude, it well, was awesome. Well, he built it, and he's not entirely confident in his, his, his <laughs> traptions. I, I'm he confused was, by that because every time he builds anything or, like, whether it's – because I've told him before, I was like, take it for a spin, or it's like the Miata, like, rip a drift or whatever. I always say, yeah, Brian, take it for a spin. He goes, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I but got like, a family at home. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I've, always, I've always been a little curious. Like, I'm like, no one's filming. Like you putts around, like yeah, check it out. You built it, man. Like go enjoy have some it. fun. Yeah. yeah, enjoy it. Hey, Big Ranch, take the pom- Hummer pontoon out this weekend. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm good. He no, don't. no, no. You gotta enjoy the fruits of your labor. <laughs> Those jet skis do look so good, though, because oh when they're God. rolling, you can't see the wheel, so it looks like they're just hovering. It is like it could magical. not be any better. Every everybody that's seen it has stopped and said something. Like I, I rode down a dead How end can road, you not? and I came back, and there was multiple people at the end of their driveways waiting for me to come back to talk about it. <laughs> it is the most electric thing I've ever driven. It's it's awesome. Well, it's no, not it's electric. Gonna be, it's gonna be such a good. It's video. such a unit too. It's so big. You're like kind of on it. And you're like yeah. wow. But like realistically, you're just on a moped. But it feels so much bigger now. Yeah, because you're driving a couch. Yeah, it's you're literally amazing. driving a couch. It's so big. That's the next thing we should have Big Wrench build. Dude, Big Wrench just doesn't want to drive his contraptions because he doesn't want to break them because he knows he'll have to fix them. (laughs) He's like, I ain't taking any chances and having to make myself get more work. I want him to like build like an old John boat on a trailer just into a car, basically. Like it's a 
John boat on a trailer oh, and you just drive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, drive you're driving around. the actual trailer too. Yep. Like the hitch is just, you know, that's the front of your car <laughs> the unit. Yeah, it just looks like a like a stray trailer that got loose from a truck. Yep. <laughs> they, like, oh my god! And then you're just standing just exactly. That's actually That's a pretty, pretty good fun. idea, Mike. Uh, we got to do that. Have or, you guys seen the dragster <laughs> that is a camper? No, it's like exactly what you just said. It, but it looks like a camper with a hitch sticking out oh, the front. It, really, and it's a drag car. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty sick. We should. Yeah, Jamie, that. pull that up. You got your computer ready? Evan's the only one. Evan, you're probably the only one who's less qualified than Ken. <laughs> I will say I'm he's paying kidding. attention, though. Pretty yeah, good. I know. Yeah, you're talking, which is nice to see because Ken never does that. He just scrolls on his phone the whole time. What are you going to do? <laughs> we actually should do that boat thing because it'd be hilarious. And just make it into a, a trike. You use the trailer wheels and then you put a, a wheel out in the front. And then you have the boat steering yep. tied up to the wheel in the front. And Diving. then you can actually drive it in the water because there's no holes in the boat. Like the boat would still function as a boat. And so you just drive into the water. It'll would, float the trailer. Would it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, it would. I, think I mean, motor, it depends how big the boat is. But it yeah. depends what motor you put in the thing. Because that would have to be. The motor might be pretty low. Yeah, unless you, you could like chain drive it down. Yes. The, yeah. This is specific semantics. Problems for big wrench, but I think yeah. it's, I think it could work. You could I put know. the motor in the boat inside of a cooler, like a big cooler. Then where will the T's go? <laughs> in the secondary cooler. Oh, gotcha. yeah, yeah, driving behind. Can't keep the T's in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to get back to them? It's better than the back of your truck, Ev. If they're on a trailer, you'd be like Vin Diesel having to crawl back there while driving down the road. <laughs> There's a time in every business when the problem you've been ignoring needs to be handled. And if you're getting frustrated with how you're selling online or in person, I can't recommend Shopify enough. Whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool that you need to start to run and grow your business without the struggle. And once you've reached your audience, Shopify is the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. We Literally could not run our online business without Shopify. They make it easy to create a website that looks good and works good without any coding because obviously we don't know how to do that. Uh, my favorite part is you can check the app, uh, the Shopify app on your phone. So you don't need to have your computer with you and you can make changes to the website and see analytics and stuff like that. It's really handy to be able to do that right from your phone. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash wide open. Remember that one time when I rode in the, in the back of the, in the boat when we were on the way up to Justin's bachelor party? I was oh, in the both of in us. the boat. You were in it? Yeah. No, you weren't. <laughs> it was just me, bro. We I went like an hour by myself nope. in the X30. I think I was with you. I think <laughs> I was. You with were both you. in there, and then you got out, and it was just him for a while. Because we were just like on a country road. I was like, "Well, I'm not stopping." Yeah, you we were just back chilling. There. It was kind of fun. It was nice because I got to lay out. It was probably windy as fuck. It's super yeah. illegal, but yeah, I was a little worried. I was like, "Man, if something happened for some reason." Bad, bad deal, but yeah, you're not exactly seat belted in, or if the trailer just somehow randomly disconnected. <laughs> I just got a video from our buddy, and it was a pontoon all mangled up sideways in the highway. It fallen off, the trailer came unhooked, and it looked like the trailer went like this, and then the pontoon fell off, and then it looked like the semi hit it. Oh, real bad, bad news bears, bad way to start your fourth weekend. I feel, yeah, that and is unfortunate. That. They were probably trailing it down. They maybe had a rental. Like, that's no, it was a nice. It was a nice pontoon, oh. nice truck that it fell off of. Like, probably just, like, when you do things too fast and yeah. you're stupid. You get jammed up. Yeah. It's easy to get Story jammed my up life. when you're doing stuff too quick. <laughs> Ev, yeah. What do you think is the most extreme thing you've done for a T? Like, what's the biggest jam up you've been in? <laughs> <laughs> and get, you're, I, I was just thinking about team? that when you were Hold talking now, about, Ryan. like, <laughs> Don't incriminate this to guy get, with his girlfriend. I, no, 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 no. Like <laughs> you, when you were like, I, you know, I'd have to be like Vin Diesel crawling into the back of a moving vehicle. Like, it, do you ever have a story where you're like, oh man, I was in this jam up and we had to go through planes, trains, and automobile to get to a T. Just think of like being run out on a Sunday, not being able to go to the liquor store, and then like having to dig through bizarre places to like find one like an all banged up dirty tea that was like in my backpack 
and then <laughs> having to try to chill that and drink it. That's probably about as extreme as it gets. A banged up dirty tea. tea. Remember when we went to Evan's garage and he, you were hoarding those uh, the bourbon barrels? Bourbon the bourbon barrels. barrels. Yeah, they, they went extinct for a good reason because they are terrible, but we treat them like royalty. Why? <laughs> They're very rare. What's a bourbon barrel? It oh, that's one right. Of the, the original tea. party pack flavors. That's right. And uh, when they switched from bourbon barrel to peach, they uh, put the bourbon barrel ones were super cheap, like five or six bucks. So we bought a ton of them and then <laughs> saved them because <laughs> they were so bad we didn't want to drink them. All right. And now we don't even drink Twisted anymore. Man, I just think it's so ridiculous, Evan, that you have committed. It's damn near your personality at this at this point to be like a twisted tea drinker, and they they don't even they won't even respond to your Fuck messages. Twisted won't tea. Won't even acknowledge me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it's kind of bullshit. But right. hey, Ryan, earlier you mentioned uh, something about trikes, and it triggered this thought. But you guys see uh, our buddy Gavin, the three wheeler, yes, three wheeler Gap. Yeah. Uh, you guys see his last video of going to trike fest. Yeah. I haven't watched God, it yet. I mean, Bro, he, he had so been rolling through with, like, the hot rod. Everyone was probably looking at that thing. I just pictured Gav being such a trike enthusiast, hanging out with other trike enthusiasts, and them just, like, geeking over his three-wheeler and him Everybody geeking else. over other people's three-wheelers. And I was like, man, this is just such a culture. Like, it just really watch, is. Like, all the people that he was hanging out with. But I, I don't think that we would have been purist. And fit in there, but I think we would have had a good time. Dude, oh, it, for sure. Well, it seemed dude. like one thing that blew me away was that they have a couple different runs throughout the weekend, and one of them is like specifically a hardtail run. You have to bring a three wheeler that doesn't have suspension. Oh, <laughs> oh. Like, like that's that particular ride. Then the other one is a free game, open mod, whatever. I'm like, wow, they have specific runs for specific because obviously people come in there aren't are bringing more than one three wheeler. Of course. Where was <laughs> that at? think indiana or something yeah like that. really it was somewhere you think that they would like a lot three of three wheelers there <laughs> there man. was that, dude they that would have been a lot town. of fun how many collarbones you think got broken that <laughs> week? <laughs> just At in gav's video i saw like 14 flips <sighs> didn't gav wad up on the first corner of his of, race yeah it was like the yeah most gav thing of course ever. of course he was just so excited he was just full <laughs> yeah. throttle can't make the turn yeah and then just can't make the turn but still just cranks it <laughs> flips <laughs> i was laughing at that i was like honestly dude I can't believe that this thing is still in one piece. I think he's like very particular about making sure he keeps it nice. Like I like I remember when we gave it to him, he's like, "I'm not taking it in the mud." I'm, not I'm like, "Bro, it's a three wheeler. Take it in the mud." Yeah, like but he did it. swamp it pretty much immediately. Yeah, <laughs> water. Unfortunately, did he? Yeah, when we got to yeah, Moab. Moab. The, oh it, yeah, oh, in yeah. Moab. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, but the water hits the air filter. Just, yeah, it's got a bad design. It's a poor design. Poor design for sure. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think that those guys would think about our modern day three wheeler? Do you think they're such purists they would be disgusted? I, saw I a think few they'd of like them there. it. Some or would like, you? some would <clears throat> some wouldn't. You know, Keeping it, it alive, bro. It's like a rest resto mod restro. Resto mod. Resto mod. I feel like it probably would be pretty similar to the way that CJ feels about the new Ford Ranger. Like he can appreciate some of the new luxuries that it has, but it's just not as good as the old nineteen ninety nine Ford Ranger. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know how it feels for, for the three-wheelers, but I can definitely agree with that, you know. You'll learn, though. It's all right. It's still Ford Ranger, I guess. So Times cool. change, but, you know. Me and CJ had a conversation about this yesterday of, like, these certain things that we make videos about are such a uh, niche market, mm -hmm. right? Niche. Niche. Yeah. Oh, man, you know, it's bad when CJ starts yeah. correcting <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm getting dumber. But uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Like yesterday's vid uh, with like the big wheel dirt bikes, pretty niche, you know, and, and granted it's a lot of people are probably just like dirt bike, you know, yeah. click, click the same, but um, the big wheel, the three wheelers, all these different things that we like kind of expand out to and, and make different videos on and in, in like these different markets and, and sectors of, of people. It's almost like we are like the Thanos of like just <laughs> grabbing all these collectives of people and just like bringing them into our like inner circle of like all right you click for this and then and then half the video is that and then the other half is reckless golfing with our uh grandpa or blind grandpa yeah. bowling prank or like you know so many just random things mm -hmm. and then you just hope that they stay for the enjoyment of everything yeah but you're just like grabbing these like 
weird things like weird like uh niche 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 people mm -hmm. from all these different spots and i think that's like our fan base at this point but i think we're making three wheelers were the most popular probably i'd say like most people know what a three wheeler is you know mm -hmm. um and obviously quads and dirt bikes but like you start getting into things like the big wheel it's like a, a much smaller group of people that are aware of them, let alone enthusiasts. But we like make it more known because now we present it to these people. And it, it oftentimes seems like we're uh, clearing the path of, uh, you know. Yeah, of a, like a, a space. Of this space because I don't really know if there's anyone else making videos with big wheels <laughs> <laughs> at, that are, uh, you know, like at this size and doing it at this scale. I know one thing's for sure. We drove the price of smart cars up. 100%. Yeah. Because we've been trying to get them, and now they're all like 10 grand. What the fuck happened? They're old. Also, a bunch of other YouTubers got it, got smart cars after we got them. Mm. Like, I remember nobody had them, and we got them because we're like, this is like the lamest thing, but we're going to act like it's super cool. <laughs> Those things were cool. And, and then they, they, they end fun. up but I, actually being cool. I guess, yeah, I forgot about that. We came into it like, yeah, these things are lame. Even after we drove them, they're like, we're, they're slow. Whatever, but they were so but, cheap at the time, and yeah. they looked so funny. It was like, let's drift them. Let's see if we can, you know, pull the traction control fuse. That way we can drift them, and we'll lift it up. We'll jump them and do all these things, and then... I forget that we own a smart car still. Sitting on top <laughs> sitting of Ken's, Ken's van. van. Yeah, 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 Rocket I, League was so fun. The smart cars yeah. the smart cars are like golf carts. They're just kind of like little chicken nuggets, yeah. and they're like <laughs> almost indestructible. I, I wouldn't mind buying one again. It's just... I just know I probably wouldn't drive it as much as I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> like I'd have to drive my truck because, like, I gotta. I feel put the same way. I would love to have another. Dude, smart I car actually back. got pulled over in the smart car. I got for a speeding. Ooh. Back when you know we had. Yeah, it sounds about right. I'm not surprised right. one bit by that. Well, so so fast. This out, dude's uh, got more speeding tickets yeah. than anyone I know. I, yeah. yeah, I mean, I he came up to the window. I was like, I bet it was the first time you ever pulled a smart car over. He's like, Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got let off on that one. So really? shout out that guy. But uh, no, the thing was just so goddamn slow. I pull out of the driveway and like wherever you're, whenever you're driving the smart car, you got pedal to the wood the whole time. Of course. And you got to run the paddle shifters just to make it shift faster because otherwise it doesn't rev the gear out enough. I don't have think to. you have to. <laughs> you have to if you're have trying to. to get anywhere. So anyways, like by the time it got up to speed, but it was such a slow acceleration, it didn't feel like I was going that fast, but I was going like maybe like you know, 80 and a 40 or something. And, and then, like, <laughs> That's not that. Yeah. Not yeah. That fast. But I mean, like you get up to it and then it's like, yeah. now you're speeding, but you don't feel like it. And then I'm cruising. Dude. I, uh, I drove my smart car to a wedding or as I was at the, rehe I was in the wedding and I was at the rehearsal dinner and then driving on my way home from that. Uh, I just remember cause I, I got it on video. I'm taking a snap. I'm like wearing my tux or whatever <laughs> or suit. And then I'm like driving the smart car. And then my muffler falls off <laughs> in the snap. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just like, you hear it like yeah. roll down the road. <laughs> and I'm like, did my muffler just fall off? And I got to have to see if I can find yeah, the video. Yeah. You, you were probably pretty stoked on it. Like, I nice. Was, I didn't even have to cut it. But like, think of the, think of any other smart car owner and their muffler yeah. falls off and now they got to drive around their it's, smart it car. It was pretty loud. I you was, you remember Ken truck. wrapped his? Yeah. He spent like a week wrapping his. That's and right. then we're like, now it looks the coolest, so we got to jump it into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He was pissed. He, and he, but he took it pretty well for the amount of work that he had into it. Yeah. He, yeah. He took a long time. I don't yeah. know if Ken's wrapped anything since. The, he hasn't the, modded anything since. Yeah, yeah no true. kidding. The easy smart car unload video. Just overlay that right now. That was oh so gosh. slept on of just like how just pointless and reckless it was well the reason why we did that was because we jumped into the pool and it oh, was waterlogged right. and that's like right. it was like pretty fucked up so we we're like well let's just Watch unload it because at the time that was what we did whenever you had junk or if anything was broken you would unload it out of the back of a truck after going 40 mile an hour in reverse and for some reason oh, it sometimes would start to work oh yeah that's right yeah we got the, the golf, golf cart, cart to work you know it'd be right. a little bent up but it would run again <laughs> What if we launched out of the back of the We've truck? We've easy unloaded a golf cart. Yeah. Uh, it broke. CJ's four-wheeler. Yep. yep. The golf cart. No. Grandpa's TV. Grandpa's TV. Yep. Smart car. Uh, 
Smart car was probably the pinnacle. I think that's it. Yeah. What do you think is the largest thing we can fit? I mean, a smart car is damn near. Yeah, there. we had to like build vehicle. ramps for it to sit on because right. the built wheel a well. platform. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise it wouldn't fit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else we could fit. I don't we know. Should we'll, figure that out. Though. Maybe we'll have to do a few more things. We could just get a bigger truck. Think you could Easy Lambo on mode. Oh, like a dump truck. You could get like a full dump truck. You just did a sled deck, like, yeah, like a flatbed. Then you'd really get a lot of room, and you'd be really high. That'd yeah. be destructive. Somebody say the meat. The Miata? Yeah, Evan did. Which I'm surprised because Evan loves the Miata. I do love the Miata. Dude, Evan was mobbing around in the Miata the other day. Red Miata, tops down, hair's flowing. And he pulls up. Chain out. Chain out. (laughs) And he pulls up. And we're just like, I I think some of us are clapping because it was such a beautiful sight. Like, didn't know what else to do. And Mike pulls this line out. One of the best things I've heard you say, Mike. He goes, looks like he's driving his red Etni. (laughs) Because yeah. <laughs> Ev wears red Etni shoes. <laughs> it literally did. And it it did, dude. It, it, maybe it was just the moment, but we all just start laughing, and now I can't unsee it. You know, I don't so, want to wrap it like a shoe. I know. That'd yeah. be amazing. <laughs> well, all you got to do is put an Etni logo on the side, yeah, and you're pretty you're much good. there. I, I got to say, Ev, I admire the fact that you still wear Etnies. Proper shoe. We should get you some new ones. Some new like Etnies? the ones with the big E on the side, though. Uh, no, I, I don't. Can't do that. Like yours are like a little bit more like skaterish. I'm, the, I'm talking the, like he the want, you Ryan want Sheckler the Pro models. It's quality yeah, shoe. I want to get you <laughs> some like blocks on your feet. You know what about some bar blocks? laces and everything? Maybe some Osiris's. Bring those yeah, back. Did you bar. ever have those? Oh yeah, yeah. you did. I actually, honestly, just one pair of like the big classic. Yeah, with tongue. the huge fucking tongue and <laughs> God, like those slippers. things are ugly. They actually were comfortable. They're I'm sure they were, heavy, but like. What's the point of those? You can't skate in those. You can. I mean, you could. You could skate in Crocs if you want, but like, just were like they actually phase. for skating? I mean, in theory, yeah. But I think it was just a phase that really just rocked them. They had the crazy colors. What were those one shoes? God, now I can't think of them. They were like bat farms. Oh, bat farms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my How god, you know dude! That? I just <laughs> fat farms. Are hey, they still around? Have, pull them up. Ev doesn't have a computer. <laughs> we, I can multitask. He doesn't have one in his, in his personal life, and he doesn't have one even back there that we loaned him. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Fat Farm's still a thing. There was Some a kid in my class. Stuff. There was a kid in my class that had uh, Fat Farms, and they didn't. This is in the second grade. <laughs> These are but they didn't uh, make them in children's size. So he was wearing like a size eight <laughs> shoe in the second grade. Like he was falling out of his feet. <laughs> And then, like, the teacher's like, you can't go to gym class with those. And he's like, yeah, I can. It's just, yep, oh, fat farms, sick. dude. Yeah, I would say if you had those back in the day, you were considered cool. But only for, like, a those couple years. Those are pretty years. fucking sick, honestly. I'd wear those today. Let's bring them back. Oh, they make them now? Nah, what what does fat them. farm even mean? <laughs> I don't even know. Fat farm. Well, fat. So if if you're fat, Those are actually cool, pretty right? slick, yeah. dude. And then the girl version was with a baby pH. fat. I could see, like, a... It was. Uh... A guy wearing those in Miami with like a button up. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, Damn, dude, Cuban? the Fat yep. Farm signed by uh, Run DMC. Yep, oh, yeah, Ooh. that's pretty sick. How much? Two ninety five. Can't put a price on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can order some Fat Farm. Hell yeah! <laughs> Everyone, go order a vintage shoe right now. It was always so impractical. It was like you were like so careful because you got. To, to run the bar laces, you had to, like, have the laces on, up behind your oh, tongue. Such it was a, such a pain in the dick. I remember looking back and go, why did I do this? So Look much cool, work dude. to lace them. Yeah, I yeah, guess. and then it's like you don't want to get them messed up and shit. Or what? doing two sets of laces to get the colors, but then having so much lace packed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then just packing the lace the- inside the shoe so you're just walking yeah. on them. You, like, would try to, like, I'd try to stuff it, like, under the sole yeah. and stuff, but it's then it's like bumpy. you're walking on this bumpy little, yeah. You slide your foot in, and, like, the laces get tangled yep. up in your toes. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that at my private school. Everybody just wore. Yeah, what was everyone wearing there? Birkenstocks? Well, boat shoes. <laughs> yeah, we were at every time. Sperries and shit, I'm sure. Did you have a uniform? Yeah, in elementary school. God, can, I, can you pop up a picture? Of me yeah. wearing. Did you have to wear a tie? <laughs> no. Ryan, it was a polo. dude, you like, when Ben asked you to pop up a picture of you in a uniform, you were like. <laughs> <laughs> of me. Gulp. Of me. <laughs> Ryan, I think that you should start wearing transitions again. Someone had such a good idea. Transitions contacts. So when you that walk out scary. in the sun, 
It, they get darker. So yeah, you're always you, wearing sunglasses. You would look creepy as hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black I like it. I like it. I would wear them, but... You, your, yeah, your eyes are just black. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that, but it'd be fine. I wish I knew Transition Ryan. Why? So you could make fun of him? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't even know him. Well, let's put it this way. Me, Justin, and Ken, oh best friends. We rode around in Ken's Impreza because Ken was old, so he had his license. We would go to... Uh, the movies a lot because that was the only thing we could do. But uh, we would like we'd go to the movie at eight and then we'd leave here at like four, and then we'd just drive around and we'd go to the Chinese restaurant, eat a shit ton of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, right when right when we started hanging out, you were Friday night. you were kind of going through this phase of like going downtown and being a bad boy and like yelling like very <laughs> aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> things yeah out the window at people like walking from bar to bar mm -hmm. and i remember going with you one night yeah you like take people <laughs> there's a bit of culture and, like, shock and there. like people obviously don't take kindly to like uh, a 15 year old calling them a fucking pussy yeah <laughs> We saw two guys walking down the street, and now knowing what I know, yelling at people at like 11.45 downtown Fargo, like everybody's walking from bar to bar, so they're all hammered, and there was two guys wearing Affliction t-shirts, who knows, could have been Mark and Tim. <laughs> no. And I just, we yelled, probably called them pussies or something like that, and they chased us through downtown. I would as a guy with an Affliction shirt would. Exactly. You run after a car. Yeah. So, so did you... Uh, did you guys take off or, or what? Yeah, we took off and Blake was driving and I remember he panicked, panicked. And uh, I think we ended up getting jammed up at a light. We just rolled up the windows. And <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'd imagine would happen. You would get like one block look. down and you hit the first red light. Yeah. <laughs> Blake's in there. No tint. Rolled the window up. Yeah, just keep looking forward. To, like, pretend they're <laughs> pretend not, there. not there. Pounding on the window. That, it's one time in elementary school, uh, this like... Pretty much bully was chasing me and my buddy Chris. Like we were pretty small, but we were kind of heckling him. And we're just walking home from oh, school. Oh, so you deserved it. And we were carrying our sleds like saucers. Uh huh. <laughs> he's like, "Hey, you know, get over here," because we were like kind of heckling him. And we're like, "Oh, he's actually coming after us. Like he's, you know, he's gonna like throw us down or some shit." And we threw our sleds behind us, like you know, as like a decoy. All right, throw your sleds, run. And he slipped on the sled, <laughs> like full blown, you know, woof, like airborne to the back in the middle of an, like an intersection, like small town. So no one was driving, but just on his back. Oh, and we're like, we got him. And he Let's kept go. Running. Yep. You oh just my ditched God. the sled. And then the next day at school, they beat the shit out of him. <laughs> we beat the shit out of him? No, he beat the oh, shit yeah. out of him. I was like, he's like our, twice our size. Mike was a bully though in high school. Yeah. Or middle school. or I just, it was trickled down. So I got bullied. Down it makes sense <laughs> that he was bullying. Yeah, the, the hierarchy. Was, Mike got beat up first period, but second period he wouldn't kick someone else. In the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but just with a little less creativity than the original bully. Yeah. Yeah. One time I got pushed down to the ground in fourth grade by like the local bully. Wasn't mm. his name like Reed or something? Ray. Ray. That's Ray. right. Such a bully Dude, name. Yeah, you name your kid Ray. Yeah. He's gonna be a bully. Really? Yeah, bro. I think Ray is a super fruity name. <laughs> oh, really? I can't. Yeah. I can't think of anyone. <laughs> Ray is like he's gonna be overweight. And he's gonna be just like a fruity. I fruity. Envision Bib over. Well, there I could have Ray. When Ray. I think of a Ray, I think of like. Ricky's dad from Trailer yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. I, I think of like of. tattoos, but weathered tattoos. <laughs> uh. I just went to ripped Sugar Ray. sleeves, so not a oh. not a cut off, but like ripped, so you can still see that it's like you know he's strong enough to tear him off himself. Probably bald, <laughs> and and just just an asshole. So is this what the kid looked like when in the fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the uh, fake first certificate. So why did he push I you 12. to the ground? Why do you, I remember hearing about this at the time it happened? Like it was like, yeah, Ben Ben's all gone up because you got beat up at recess. Yeah, it was at recess. Yeah, I remember it. I don't really remember the context. What'd you do to, you know, like, why would he go after you? I don't know. I'm trying to think of that. You were probably You were really mouth. small. <laughs> ben was really, really small. I, I could have been running my mouth. But that doesn't sound like something I would do. <laughs> yeah, man. I could see it. So he just shoved you, or did he hit you, or what? I was he running. You. I was running, trying to get away from him. 
and he pushed me, and it was on like asphalt. Oh, you were still talking shit as you were. Did running? you start Probably. crying? <laughs> Probably. Did you start crying? I don't. Ooh. No, that's me, tough. Did you just get no, up and, and go to class, or did you have to go to the nurse? No, office? and then I, I had to go to the nurse's office, and I was like gushing blood like everywhere. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys ever just like you'd be at school that day? This was mostly, I guess, elementary school would be. But like, say you're at you're at class, and you're just like, "Fuck, like, I really don't want to be here. This is boring." You're looking at the time. You're like, "Let's see, maybe I can get out of this." So you go to the nurse's office. And you're like, "I don't feel very good." And then no, yeah, I, I, that I, was, I, I did that. I once. thought that was only in cartoons. In no, movies. I I I'd do that in real life, and sometimes it works, sometimes it wouldn't. You just go home. You have your parents come pick you up, just because you just didn't want to be there. I'll, then you I'll had never to pretend like, like you were sick for the yeah, rest of the day, so it was a pain because then you have to ne- lay in your bed and watch right. TV. I could never bring myself to like call into work just because like I, I whenever I was surrounded by people that do that, just yeah, why don't you just call in, tell them you're sick, and I'm like that's lying, and they're like so, and I'm like <laughs> they need me, they need my help. Yeah. I, I agree, it's way school. way different than elementary versus having a job. Yeah, when I had a job, I was like. Yeah, I well, just when I worked for let's say at the gym or even at uh when I washed cars, I was like their go to guy, which I kind of almost made an issue for myself because I'd always say yes. If they called her, hey, we we're we're short a guy, we need you, I'd oh. always show up. That's what I mean, if you're working at like a restaurant and there was only like five people on the staff on a slow night. It's pretty inconsiderate though, if you just like ditch out and then Someone else, it was supposed to be their day or they're not supposed to work right there. So then they were maybe had something planned and then they end up calling them, for instance, me in some cases. Then it's like, okay, I guess. And you have to like cancel Cover whatever you were doing. You go in. It's also probably just comes down to like the type of person they are. If they're cool with just calling in and lying, being like, yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, like those people aren't aren't the guy. Or like, I'm not, sure. I'm, not, I'm not feeling good, but they're just hung over, like something That's like that. That's what I mean. I think yeah. it's like, it's a lot deeper than just like calling, you know, it's like it reflects on the type of person you are. Right. I uh, used to go to my jobs hungover a lot. I never do it here anymore. Yeah, he just stays drinking on the job. <laughs> but when I would, uh, I was the Saturday. Actually, I wasn't the Saturday manager. I was the nighttime manager pretty quickly at the car wash that I worked at. And I would always show up hungover when I had to work Saturdays. It was pretty slick. You, you show up and then you just go sit in a car. You're supposed to be detailing and take a nap. <laughs> really <laughs> i mean you wouldn't like just straight Not up zonk out but like you would like w- wipe the dash a little bit and lay back and then, like <laughs> pretend that you're cleaning something on the floor for a bit that's so funny ryan brings like a, a pillow and sleeping bag <laughs> opens up the trunk crawls in when i used Where's to work ryan? yeah yeah what's he doing uh when i used to work landscaping uh i was even younger yet i was like 19 20 and uh after drinking too many soda pops all night uh, one time I was so tired and hung over. We were laying flagstone pavers. So you're on your hands and knees, like moving rocks. And I basically was so tired that my head just went down and I fell asleep on the rock. Wow. But face down Holy. like that. Like my boss came over and thought I was like dead. Yeah. I was just like <laughs> he, face down. He woke he me up. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Sorry. That was <laughs> probably the worst, worst I feel at work nap I've had. My hangover advice is you got to just keep moving. You got to get up. You got to get going, you know? Yeah. Well, Burt Kreischer's thing is punish yourself, right? Like he says, he's like, you chose this. <laughs> yeah. Like, get up, work out, make yourself feel better, and then get going, yeah, which gotta, I agree. Yeah. Like, Sometimes it's just so damn hard, though. I think it lasts longer, though, if you lay around. Oh, like It's like yeah, a Band-Aid. You got to, like, sure. you have mm-hmm. to get up, get moving. Rip that shit off. Start drinking again or, or <laughs> stop drinking again, but either way, you got to get going. Yeah. You know? I think the worst part is... Go figure. This is different than laying around. Like, I can sleep it off. I can just sleep well, we it off. We know that, Mike. You can <laughs> sleep <laughs> off when you're not hungover. You, you couldn't even have been drinking. You'd sleep it off. Yeah, I, I can sleep. Is anyone else here? Yeah, what's a, a yeah, child? Big, big, big Wrench has some. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Is it bringing a kid to work oh, today? Yeah, everyone. We'll do the rest of the podcast whispering then. Because <laughs> Big Wrench has his children. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the hardest part about most hangovers is they're usually on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then it's it's paired with the Sunday scaries yeah. of just like now you're sitting back, hungover, reflecting on the decisions that you made the last two days, and then, and you, and then you're thinking about the decisions that you gotta make like, for the yeah. next five days to get through like the week, mm-hmm. and it's like oh fuck, this is it, not good, dude. If it means anything to the people at home, we at least <laughs> I have the Sunday scaries. Oh yeah, and like you would think we wouldn't, but like it's just a normal thing. Yeah, it is. 
everybody goes through it. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're not alone on that. Ev has this show that he likes to watch, mainly when he's going to bed after drinking, but I feel like it's also definitely on in the mornings. It's like Ev's hangover cure. It's called Carts of Darkness. Oh. It's a very obscure YouTube documentary. And uh, it, funny, it, it works. I saw this video, and uh, this is some real <laughs> Carts of Darkness shit right here. Guy gets absolutely bodied. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know if I want to watch this. They just send him into a wall, don't they? Oh. Dude, this no way this goes well. No. <laughs> oh. What the fuck were they doing? I mean, there was definitely no positive outcome to that. Bro, one. that's worse than anything Jackass did. They used to do that shit with the carts where they'd like push them and then mm -hmm. hit the curb and they'd go into a bush. That right there was fucking bad. Well, that there was, was just dumb. There was, yeah, there was no good <laughs> outcome no to good that outcome. one. Just concrete. I still, I still think I'd rather do that than be strapped to a rocket like Johnny Knoxville. That yeah. When Johnny no. does the rocket, he goes to the water, bro. I still think I'd rather... Straight to the concrete, he did, no he helmet? Did a, he did a front flip. I'd take the so, rocket too, Mikey. You're insane. If you think, that's like 30 <laughs> miles an hour <laughs> just slamming into the Straight to the concrete. To your face. But if you no go way. fast enough, you do a full front flip. No. No, He's, I don't think no. that's how that works. No. That no guy chance. might have gotten lucky. I see he what did. you're saying. He might have fully flipped and then landed on his back before he hit. That's, rather than oh, so he only broke his back. It's kind of like Oh, you don't just break your bone as soon as it touches the concrete. It's a maybe. You're definitely scum. Yes. Oh, bro! And maybe no. he got Slaughter lucky if for he did sure. it three times. Uh, it's kind of like saying if you clip the guardrail on the interstate with your car fast enough, you can do a barrel roll. That was your logic right there. Yeah, but you'd, <laughs> you you'd have, have, like you would have to move. You would have to move into it extremely, extremely fast sideways. To but do you're a barrel using roll. some. Fucked storm of, excuse me, some fricked term of, term of logic <laughs> no. to try to figure out that you're like, no, I would feel safer than this because I'm just going to do a front flip. Uh, yeah, if I, I'm just saying I would rather do concrete. exactly what he did than strap myself to the rocket. You're not even it. strapped. You're just holding onto the rocket and you just go into the... Well, then he like... It's not much different than you like, jumping a bike or, off into the... Have to get his like urethra replaced after that? No, that was from a dirt, dirt bike, bike accident. Oh. Try to do a backflip and the bike right landed on it. Something did happen with the rocket, though. The rocket, yeah, rocket the rocket up. exploded, but it exploded like uh, the I, I want to say like six inches away from his oh his, yeah uh, lagger head died. or something. Almost so it was, it was almost super this bad. His chest, I think. But, but yeah. yeah, Mike, that one just makes no sense. I'm sorry. Well, at I least now we know. Yeah. When we want to <laughs> strap our friend to a rocket, we got Ev. And when we want to push our our friend down a hill in a shopping cart, we got Mike. We do have a couple <laughs> carts down there if you want to run it, Mike. <laughs> Well, luckily for Mike, we don't have like, a single hill in the Cormoran area. We do have a God. few machines that could generate speed, though. And, and we do have a mechanic that can build us a rocket. Banshee bungee. <laughs> oh, my. Banshee bungee into a wall. Wait a minute. <laughs> now that's a Has bad anyone wake well, surfed the shopping cart yet? Mm. How the fuck would you do that? I mean, the, you have to you put, put it on, it on board. board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, the metal just the metal grate somehow is just floating on. If the, you go fast enough, it should skip. I'd agree with that. <laughs> at a very, very high speed. Did you guys see in the last video? Actually, a lot of people were comment. Uh, the top comment is that we have to water skip the big wheel. It, it's impossible. Yeah, I don't really think it. It definitely has more surface area, but I don't think it would be easier. No, and 250F sounds like hardly power. fast yeah. enough to skip in the first place, and then that one's big like wheels on it now. Do you yeah. think the big tire would help though? More surface, maybe area. would. Yeah, It'd probably make you, you hide your plane for a second, but to like actually skip successfully, there's no way you could like skip across a puddle. Maybe I've seen you do that on a normal bike. You really have to sink this 250F. <laughs> no, nope. yeah, it's a pretty nice bike, uh, even though it's not Evans anymore. He still is emotionally attached to it. Uh, I don't get too emotionally connected to that one. Really. It's not a two-stroke. It's not as KTM. Yeah, no, two strokes, on the other hand, there's a special bond you form with them. <laughs> Surprised you don't have that sleeping in the in the bed with you. Uh, it's hard to fit through the door. Do we need to build you a bigger room? Is I that what you're cut, asking for right now? I just cut a couple notches on each side of the door frame for the handlebars <laughs> to go through. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Didn't Slim put his ba his bike in his basement? Yeah, he puts it in the basement every winter. And then he domed his Why? head riding it out. Uh... Kind of to make space in the garage for vehicles. It has Makes to go sense. somewhere. He's got room in the basement. Looks cool. And it looks cool, yeah. Yeah, and if you he, shine it up and it's clean, it's kind of like, it's fucking yeah, it's cool. sick. And I like, think he does like, you know, like a full service on it. Pulls everything apart. Really? Piles it all really in nice. over, over the winter, yeah. I kind of want to put some stuff in my house. You should put a dirt bike in your house, dude. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah, have furniture. Should. You should just put everything put that shouldn't be in a house. 
You can put your three wheeler. Get a can smart a car, put it upstairs. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Then it'll feel like the shop at your house. That'd be great. Didn't didn't Slim kind of go like medium viral for that when he drove it up the stairs and smoked his head? That video went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I never successfully made it. That you was didn't? that was the last one. Yeah, this last year. He just drug it out of the basement, didn't try to ride it again. Was Stacy, his wife, pissed when she came home and there was burnout marks on the stairs? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, she claims to be pissed, but I don't think she was too mad. It's whatever. She got over it, yeah. Respect to Slim for doing a burnout up his stairs in his house. Yeah, yeah it's so legit. You got to turn the booze again. Oh! Smoked his head Dude, on it, that. it was like the, the little the bean. double whammy too. <laughs> the little bean on the top of his hat just smoked his. Oh, oh slim dude. Oh. I love. I love that he cares enough to put his dirt bike inside because he cares so much about the bike. Well, some people but care he's a, about their stuff, Ben. But he's okay with riding up the stairs <laughs> and like destroying yeah, the yeah, flooring good... downstairs, on the stairs, upstairs. Yeah. Probably dented the ceiling. Way harder to replace than just, like, your bike being cold. (laughs) (laughs) We should go back and notch out a slim (laughs) head-sized hole in his uh, stairway right there so he can do it successfully. I miss that guy. Me too. Yeah, we got to get him up here. Down here. (laughs) We're south. Yeah, over. Yeah, we're, 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 we're north woods like straight west. Straight over. I actually have kind of a bit of like an OCD thing about that. People would be like, oh, I'm headed. I got I'm, that from I'm you. headed down to Minnesota from you, and they're like coming up. I, Rich said it, our, our buddy who builds tracks. He goes, yeah, I, I finally made it down here. And I was like, Rich, you drove 1,500 miles straight north. Up. This is up. <laughs> I think we're used to saying down because typically anywhere we go is it's technically down. down. But yeah, you go we're at, but up yeah. to Canada. Yeah, 100%. Go out west. Yeah. yeah, true. I would never say we're going down to Canada. No, That'd just be west. weird, yeah. So when you're at home, correct your friends. They love it. I correct my friends all the time, and they tell me how much they like it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably one of my <laughs> favorite things about you, actually, Ryan. I just want, it's my favorite thing about everyone. Everyone's so good about making sure that we're, you know, just being better. Acutely aware of yeah. us being idiots. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think about Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg potentially uh, doing an MMA fight? No chance. I think it's only too good to be true. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do it. But for the sake of the story, I did see that the France government has offered up the like Coliseum, the Coliseum for yeah. it wow. in wow. Rome, which would be fucking legit. They should <laughs> fight to the death. <laughs> Isn't it amazing <laughs> the time we live in? Like no other time in history was like. Let's get the two richest men on the planet and have them fight each other. Yes. Boxing They'll do it in style. space. They'll do it in space. Oh, man. That would be incredible. Yeah, but on then the we Titanic? Can... Oh, wait. <laughs> Jeez, Ev. Jeez, Ev. I, I feel like they're more space guys than ocean guys. I know it's crazy, but, like, I wouldn't be that surprised. If it happened? Yeah, bro. I, I, I mean, it I makes feel, sense like, because Elon's cool and Mark actually trains jujitsu, which is quite different than boxing, but... uh. But it does seem like he's about it. If yeah. he goes to jujitsu competitions, he's clearly not afraid of getting hurt. Yeah. Because you can get slammed down and whatever else. And Elon I just would just do it for the culture. I just don't foresee it happening, man. Like, no. their brains are, like, their most important things. You think they're going to box each other? Would, I, I mean, if they do it, crazy I hope they do. Happened. That'd be f- so, you are right. so cool and so funny. It'd probably be the biggest boxing event. I feel like everybody would watch Quite that. possibly in the world. It would be 100%. Because it's Dude, just it so would take, strange. And like it, it's tying in everyone because it's not just two boxers that only boxing fans know. It's, you know, moguls of the world. Dana wants to be like the promoter, put it on. Of course. Fuck yeah, he does. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it, it was a clip of him being like, these boxers coming together trying to make a show, but... This is just stupid. <laughs> like, two people that shouldn't be fighting each other shouldn't be entertainment. Then the next gut is, yeah, so I just got off the phone with Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. Sounds like they're both interested in fighting. So hopefully we can make this happen. Yeah. The only way to never be wrong is never say anything. Never say anything. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, I, know, I, I think, honestly, though, like, crazy <laughs> things have happened. And I wouldn't be that surprised. Yeah, I, I agree. But going off of what Ryan said, his statement about never say anything, because then you can never uh, be, wrong. be wrong. So I like recently, I've been like trying to get back into working out and all this. I'm looking at 
there's like health bands and whatever that like track your health, you know, so you can do like a whoop or a Fitbit or, or even or even the Apple, Apple Watch. Watch. Possibly. Uh oh. So with the whoop, you gotta like pay whoop, whoop. a monthly thing and same with like the other brands. I think there's a ring that you can do as well. Oh yeah. And uh I just had to immediately be like can't do the Apple Watch. I talk too much shit on them. Yeah, that'd be a yeah. tough look. Yeah, I can't go then, back on. I would accept then, you But right it would in. be it would be <laughs> nice though to have it just to monitor my health. That's the only reason I, I want it, just so I could see. It, it is, watches your sleep, doesn't it? Like yeah. that. And be I do fascinating like that. But it is funny because I don't work out. I don't hit the gym. So like all the fitness stuff that that they're come packed with. <laughs> It's just useless to me. <laughs> like, no, it, it counts my you steps. You guys could share. You just envision no. the activities Mike's doing and what the watch yeah, like thinks what, he's yeah. doing. No. <laughs> What's he doing, I'll, Ev? I don't even. Oh, wow. 35 minutes on the shake weight today. <laughs> <laughs> it says that. Yeah, when I'm like out dirt biking, it shakes around and it goes, yeah. you record outdoor cycle. And I'm like, it's counting all these calories. And yeah. It's like, so man, this guy's oh, so maybe it's not as accurate. That, that's one thing, dude. I, mean, I was looking at the watch. The Apple Watch seems more versatile because it actually yeah, it does can stuff. do a few more other things that I probably wouldn't use. But tells you the time. And on it's like the cheaper. You don't have to pay a, per, a subscription. Whoop, no, it's just a little band. And I, I was looking at it. I was like, God, I'm not going to wear this thing everywhere. It looks kind of lame. Our buddy... uh around here he wears a nice watch and then so he got the whoop band because i was like he's he was like i had an apple watch but i can't wear two watches the day cj gets a workout band is when rolex makes one <laughs> no I, I yeah that's actually a good point i'd rather just wear the rolly and then i, I think i'd do the ring one so personally yeah i just don't seem like a ring guy but no but then if you're like oh it tells me that i slept good what last fuck night do i wear it on my pinky no pinky i think you ring? like sure. i think it's your index maybe your middle so whether know. it tells you you slept good or you slept bad, how, what usefulness is that? <laughs> like, That's a I good think point. That all the stuff it tells you is irrelevant. It makes <laughs> you feel better because like you can prove that you did something today that you didn't I, just sit on your ass. But I think all they do is make people feel good. They're a waste of money and time. Bro, you're you're right. Such Ev. a great point, Ev. You're right. Such a fantastic 100%. point. Evans would just wake up and go, last night you drank 12 teas before bed. In order to sleep better, don't drink 12 teas yeah, before bed. That's that true. <laughs> like, I don't want to know that. I did kind of come to that that realization. I was like, I mean, I probably know what I need to do if I want to get better sleep yeah. or whatever. But I, I was just interested in seeing, you the know, data. I guess the data. I saw somebody uh, on the boat this other weekend and they had a like a very noticeable tan line from a, dude, a whoop band. Dude. And I was like, oh, you like wear it a lot. Like whatever. Did you like it? Because I was looking into it and he goes, yeah, I wore it straight for two years. And he goes, I got so dialed. I know exactly what the band's going to tell me. Don't eat after eight o'clock. Don't have this type of food. Like make really? sure you exercise. It at this tells hour. you that? Yeah. Wow, now I'm more interested. You need someone to tell you not to eat a snack <laughs> before bed? You should know. <laughs> you don't yeah, know. you're right. I do something. know that. You're right, I do. When I go and I grab a cookie at 10 o'clock at night, I know I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> and Ev's like, like I and then I go back for the shoot. second, I know I know for a fact. I'm like, this is not good. I was like, I need a device. Ball and just ask that what to do. With <laughs> I have one of those. I actually do have a magic eight ball from when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, of course, bro. Those things are sick. Ev's like, yeah, so my whoop band's been pissing me off. <laughs> Told me I was unhealthy yesterday. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Yeah, I, and I I was just pissed because I had a great day. I sat at the bar from 12 to 12. <laughs> That's a shift. Uh, That's a shift, Ryan, yeah. a couple podcasts ago, you were you were saying how with me and CJ, we, we stick to our, our word, mm -hmm. right? And I said, yeah, it's all fun and games until <laughs> it gets you in a sticky position. Uh-huh. CJ right here, he's in a sticky position. He's I'm a not jammed really. up. Well, yeah, but you you, you just I know if, I if, can't if you, do that. Yeah, if you I do that, it out. If you do that and somebody takes a picture of you at the gym and it gets leaked, bro. Yeah, you maybe I'm want a little I'll leak it. I'll, I'll, do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I would take advantage of that. You guys would. I yeah, know 100 for a fact you guys would be taking pics, so that's why I can't. 100 percent 100 percent I think but if, if you really <laughs> full circle, you could go, listen, I started looking into the benefits like you did. And you go, I found a usefulness for it now. I didn't think it was cool 
to get my text message on my phone and wear it as an accessory piece, which is what you thought. But you go, now I found this usefulness. So yeah, like, but I mean, uh, I feel like you have to live under a damn rock to not know an Apple Watch tracks your fitness. I didn't like, know how in-depth That's the it first did. thing they I didn't, did when I just it first came did out. Steps. Like, I was like, I don't really care about it's steps. It's not a pedometer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember those? Shit? Yeah. Those are pretty fucking cool. You had to go I, put on your waistband. It. Yeah, you get them in gym. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. had one because my mom had one, so I was like, can I wear it sometimes? And then she probably wore it for a week, and then I got to wear it. When I was in, in college for the short stint, uh, I, I took health class. And part of the health class was you had to get 10,000 steps mm -hmm. every single day. And then you had to submit uh, basically like a screenshot or, or some kind of form showing that you got 10,000 steps, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't getting 10,000 steps and I, I wasn't going to about to go to the track and do it. So I just got really good at just photoshopping it. That's where I learned to Photoshop. You you cut in the top of the screen and you put in the bottom so it shows your yeah, steps. Yeah. So every week I had the same amount of steps. <laughs> Do you guys remember uh, power balance bands? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bro. And then they came out that it was a sham. Oh, yeah, who would have thought? Fake. No, fake. fake? Are, and they sure, sold them dude. for like 20 to 30 bucks, depending on which one you got. And you ever were, have a kid in your class 30. that was like, they bought the fake ones and then would sell those for 15 yep, or yep, so whatever? Everything. Yeah. It's, just, it's all mental, dude. It's all That's what it was. All mental. But no, it was weird. You go into Shields and the salesman would like do the test, test on, with on. you and they'd be like, see, yep. Isn't that cool? You got to have one. Yeah. And they'd like, put it on and then, no, they'd, they'd be like, all right, stand here. And then they'd like push you back yeah. just like hardly. And you'd like take a step back and then they'd put it on you and then they do it again. But obviously now you're <laughs> expecting it. So you're like, you get to add a little resistance when it comes and then you're like, and oh my you don't God, go back wow. Yeah. wow, see, look. Gravity. Like, ever wow, since I, I need this. Ever since I got this power balance band, I haven't gotten blown over in the wind once. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, and then people would, they would, you know, if a buddy did that to you, they're like, oh, yeah, I could see that. But then if the salesman at Shields does that to you, you're like, well, the salesman said that. So, yeah. like, obviously. Yeah, the fuck was that, that guy getting out of it? He was just conning a bunch of people. Yeah. And he's just like, was he getting a commission off those things or what? He, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure. Probably. But, you know, you, you always got to wonder. If you should be buying something from a guy that rolls up on a Segway. <laughs> That's true. They are yeah. bad news. Did you know the guy that invented the Segway died because he drove it off the Grand Canyon? What? <laughs> what? We should fact check this. I <laughs> swear that is what I... That is the story I heard. No he way. he drove it off a cliff. On accident? I would I As far as I know, he didn't leave a note. Oh, dude, <laughs> when you search up how did the inventor, that's the first thing that comes up. Okay, Jimmy Heldzen didn't invent the Segway, but he was the company's owner when he tumbled off a cliff while riding an all-terrain oh Segway. Gosh. Oh, that's not a good look. Okay, so it wasn't the Grand Canyon. No, at least, dude, he was about it. Close enough. He was about it. He was riding his Segway, his Saturday, creation, he was spending, yeah. around the Grand Canyon and fell in. That's... <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Man, that's tough. Sorry, that I is... derailed us there. What about the uh, little Amazon Segways, like the foot Segways? Without the big stick and the handlebars. I feel like the like stick is a lot cooler with the handlebars. It just looks more official. Like a mall cop. Yeah, like the mall cops were all strapped with those things. There's something about when you're on that thing, it, it just demands, like, you know, Don't you're say the, respect. You're, I was going to say the whack. respect and you have authority. Like, that's what it, it just yells out at everyone. Like, I'm in authority. DJ starts rolling around the shop on a Segway. Segway. I could see Ken having one. I could see Ken. Oh, yeah, that's one too. To He's riding around the merch bay. <laughs> but that's Another a, foot and a half taller. Oh gosh. Driving around a Segway, I feel like you should be giving orders yeah. to people. Ken would roll around on the Segway with the stick and the bars, and then all of his minions would be rolling around with just like the Amazon the Segway. <laughs> Ken is like, this That'd is so, so much funny. more efficient. It's like a duck, a mother you just duck. Plug them in at night. Every, yeah, there's traffic chips. And we walk back there and there's stripes on the ground. Everyone's like got their own lanes. No, it's one. You can only closer fit and closer the, to Wally. You can only fit half the amount of shelving in there, but it's so much more efficient. <laughs> oh. They would crash every day. <laughs> yeah. if you had to fulfill orders on a hoverboard. <laughs> yeah, I could actually see it though. It'd be like a one wheel. It'd be like one wheeling around. That'd be like the 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 cool mall cop rolls up. Be like the skater wheel. cop. Yo, yeah. what up, fellas? What up, fellas? What's going on here? I do have a bit of a question to pose. 
for you guys. We talked about it before, and and I just had this new realization. You know, we talked about girls and OnlyFans, and if you would let your girlfriend have an OnlyFans, or if you would encourage it, and it it came to me: Are guys that are dating OnlyFans girls cucky? Yeah, it depends on the content. Like yeah, your it depends girl, on the content. Are they, your girls out there posting bikini or less, and you're promoting it, and you're like commenting like so hot, babe. I don't think that's here's lucky. the thing, Ryan. I don't think so. I think they're just after the money. They're hustling, man. Yeah, that's but one I mean, thing. it's just your girlfriend. You aren't getting any cash out of that. It's not what? like it's going into your bank account. Well, if she's paying for all your shit, at least you're in a free ride. It, I mean, yeah, you better be taking a cut. Or if it's your wife, I think um, cucky. That's when you cucky just seems kind of aggressive. That's like, it. It is an aggressive term. That'd be like for a guy that's dating a porn star, possibly. But that's the yeah. same thing. It's work, man. But like. Maybe those guys like kind of like their girlfriend being like admired by a bunch of other people. Everybody wants a hot girlfriend, but nobody else wants to get in the way of them and their hot girlfriend. Yeah. But okay, what do you do? You think? I think, I think so. It, I think so. I think so. I don't love the word though. Like I don't know. In general, it's not that fun to when say. you listen to like <laughs> podcasts. Like like I'll listen to No Jumper, and sometimes they'll have like the porn stars on. I know Evan listens to them. Seems like oftentimes these porn star. You know, the gal and then the guy, they have, like, they're just, like, open. Like, they can do whatever. Yeah. So that, that's like, maybe the extreme end maybe, of the like, you know, both ends. Yeah. It's not but one-way like, street. Your friend, Peter, and his girlfriend, Tiffany, they she's got an OnlyFans. A couple thousand people subscribe to it, doing pretty solid. You know, makes a couple grand a month. He really loves it. He's mm. like, it's cool. He's posting her pictures on his story. And probably like, getting a cut. Check out my hot girlfriend posting nudes on OnlyFans. He's probably getting a cut at that point. Okay, there probably is some guys that do like that or mm -hmm. or like that their girlfriend is being admired. But I would imagine that a lot of times it's either about the money or they're just not stoked on it. If you got no one hitting on your chick, then maybe she's not that pretty. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Like everybody wants, yeah, other people to like, think their girlfriend's hot, but nobody wants the other guys to tell their girlfriend that they think that they're hot. Yeah, I'd say everyone wants to date a hot chick. Yeah, but for no sure. one wants the hot. You know, the like the the problem with dating a hot chick is everyone thinks she's hot, and then you know you're gonna have guys trying to make some moves. You're going to be walking around with clenched fists all the time. Yeah. What are you going to do? Fight everyone that fucking looks her way? And there is guys <laughs> there like that. There is guys like that. Yeah. And stay out of their way. Yeah. No kidding. What a stupid thing to get in a fight about. Well, there we go. I'm honestly intrigued on other people's thoughts on that. Have you got a street fight over a chick, did you? I was like 19, but yes. What about... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, shit, fellas. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. We are about to. And uh, we'll be back next Tuesday with another fresh podcast. Absolutely. We'll see you then. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.